How's it? Today is Friday, December 30th. Um, New Year's Eve, Eve. The Eve of New Year's Eve. The day before the day before the start of the new year. It's Small Friday, and I am doing chomp change type of stuff. It is basically right there, no more than 10 top sets total. So that means if I do block jerk for three singles, and if I do snatch for three singles, if I do clean for three singles, that's nine top sets. So I can afford to have one more somewhere. Uh, I did that last week, except I, I went a, li a little bit over. Don't tell anybody. It's not like it's on YouTube for all to see. But it's super, super light. This is um, three singles at 103 for the jerk. And <clears throat> it's three kilos up from last week. So last week was even easier. I feel like last week's jerks were a little bit more crisp, a little bit better. Today I felt a little bit out of rhythm. I don't say I'm. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like um, out of position. It just feels like my timing was not the same as it was last week. I'm going for a a quick dip. So with all these warm ups, it's very easy to do quick dips. But for my my top sets, it's like okay, it's super light, but it's you know. 20% heavier, more than 20% heavier. It's 25% heavier than 80. And so, you know, uh, quality of the reps are a little bit different. Here's my last one up here at 100. And I guess for the rest of the day, um, I was just doing three kilos up from last week. So again, 100 for jerk was last week. So 103 for jerk today. Here's my first set. Um, last week's snatches were at 70, so today is at 73. Um, last week's cleans were at 90, so today is at 93. I think that overall, like, I think my, my quality of movement has improved from last week, which is really positive. I think that sometimes I, I end up going through the motions um, simply to go through the motions as it's like as a means to an end rather than learning from what I'm doing also it was hot as shit in the gym today it was like 52 or something outside and, and then the heaters were on inside so I was just like oh I think I need to hemo uh, koupa lule um, and I did that so my shirt is off for the first time in a while cuz I just been cold as shit every time I was lifting but I was warming up for snatches here um, the thing that I've been harping on for the last I don't know two three four months at this point is just trying to get a better start position so you see here I'm thinking a little bit more about where my foot pressure is and I think you can see it a little bit later with the little bit heavier weights that my hips start a little bit higher than they do than they would have otherwise. You know, if you compare my my lifts today from t or two lifts a couple months ago, my my hips are a little bit inconsistent. So I I'm trying my best to iron that out, especially with these lighter weights. For all of these as well, I am not using straps because Becca told me not to do that on Fridays because I'm only doing singles. So. Um, I think it's a good idea because I normally use the straps for the singles and it doesn't really matter to me. I've always held the opinion that my, you can see there, the hips are a little bit higher at the start position and I don't rock into it and I don't pull hips first from the ground. But going back to what I was saying was that I've always held the opinion that I snatch better without straps just because the bar is a little bit skinnier without the straps in my hand. Yeah, of course the bar is a lot more secure with the straps on, but I think the the thickness of the bar here's my first set at 73. I think the thickness of the bar with the straps on is a noticeable difference than without them. And so it feels different in my hand, like over my head specifically, because now I I get my my wrists to be in a different position. And if my wrist is in a different position, then 
the whole snatch is not the same. Like this is again super super light. I was basically power snatching. Well, I power snatched 70 for uh, five this Monday, right? So um, doing a single at 73 is like nothing. But it gave gave me the opportunity to think about why my lifts work sometimes and why sometimes they feel a little bit less good than than other times. So I I think I learned. Um, a bit about my start position today. Um, I, I think I f feel like I've learned a lot about my start position over the last couple of months. Um, here's my first set at 93. But it's not one of those things that's going to be a night and day change for me because it's such a subtle change. I think when you look at my cleans here, that one right here, you see that? The extension looks a little bit different, but that start position was really good. See the face I made. Yeah, a little bit better than the second one, and then I go for my f my fourth set here for ten sets total. I think that that was pretty good, like positioning from the ground um, specifically. It's what I'm looking at, and then secondarily, I'm looking at my extension because that does change the way the extension works off of the ground. Um, after that, I did my pull-ups here. There's a little Christmas tree on my back. <laughs> I didn't really notice that for a long time, but um, I noticed it today when I was putting these videos together. And then I finished off with some partial dragon flags here. Um, I did five for most of my sets today. Uh, these are exceedingly difficult and are going to be challenging for a while. I am just trying my best to get to a one solid rep, but you can see there my hips do hinge more than I would like and I wouldn't feel comfortable calling that a single rep so yeah I learned a lot today I think it was a good training session overall um, thank you for watching shoots